let's show you how to do fan control on a micro squirt. So on a micro squirt, you have a handful of outputs that are available uh, if you haven't used them. And uh, one of those I've wanted to use for fan control. I'm putting in an electric fan in place of my manual fan and I just wanted to show how that is done on a micro squirt. So there's no setting in the basic uh, settings up here for fan control like there is in Mega Squirt 3. So in this case we go to boost slash advanced and then programmable on and off outputs. Right here on the side these are the available outputs on a micro squirt. Uh, for this case we can use the F idle right here and you want to enable that. So that turns on uh, the use of that output. You can leave the active value to on. This is fine in off position. Uh, now in the channel what you need to choose is uh, what information is this going off of to turn on and off. So in our case we're going to go up to coolant right here and when the coolant is greater than whatever you so choose let's say 180 degrees uh, it will turn on and then the hysteresis let's put in maybe 10 degrees so that means the fan will remain on until it has dropped 10 degrees below the threshold so we'll go with that you can also add additional logic here. You can go in and or or statements. Uh, for those of you uh, familiar with that, you can add other parameters as well. But if we uh, close this here, now that we're now that we've got it activated and on, we can go up to the basic settings and here the feature list showing in and out pins. We can click that on, and you can see now that this is active. The programmable on-off output, F idle, we have turned that on and now based on our coolant temperature if it is greater than 180 degrees it will turn on and what that's doing is that is grounding the relay for your fan. So on your fan trigger on the relay you want to hook that F idle to the negative side and then provide a 5 or 12 volt source to the other side of that trigger and uh, that's what kicks it on and off.